Joining us now, House Intelligence Ranking Member, he is California Congressman Devin Nunes. Congressman, you've done a lot of, thanks, thanks for joining us, it's great to see you. You and your fellow Republicans did a lot of work on this with the report. What more does U.S. intelligence know about the virus potentially le leaking from the Wuhan lab? Well, we don't know what we don't know. We just know that we have informants and whistleblowers within the IC who have come forward to say that uh, a lot of their concerns were suppressed. So that's number one. Number two, this whole issue that this unit in the State Department wasn't shut down is absolutely preposterous. I think they completely eliminated the unit in its entirety. So, uh, look, all we did on, on our committee was we were actually able to, the Republicans, that is, were able to take all sorts of open source information. We put it all into a report. Everybody can go and read it if you just go to my website. And we, we found so much information. And then on the other hand, there is no information that would support, or intelligence for that matter, that I've ever seen that would support the intelligence community's assessment a year ago, which looks to be at this point purely political. And I, if I take you back and walk your viewers back to what was going on at that time, Liz, was we had Nancy Pelosi running around Chinatown saying that Donald Trump and Republicans were racist, that there was no need to ban flights. We had Fauci saying you didn't need to wear a mask. All of this was occurring at the same time. And I think what happened within the intelligence agencies and all through the bureaucracy that seems to be rotting from within, it's rotten to the core, which was, hey, we have to continue this narrative that Republicans are racist. And so what do we need to do? We need to make sure we come out and say, oh, yeah, intelligence believes that this was clearly something that happened out in the wild. The only evidence for that would be that the Chinese Communist Party said it and the World Health Organization, which ran a bogus investigation uh, with zero credibility, which m numerous experts have even said that, they followed up on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party. So there is overwhelming circumstantial evidence that this was not naturally occurring. And I look, I, I just think th the way that this virus spreads is as, as contagious as it is and as, as strange as it's been, I think most Americans know that this doesn't seem to be naturally occurring. Yeah, we, they haven't found the animal intermediary, the host for this, uh, yet. They've studied 80,000 different animal samples. That Wuhan lab, had, well, you know this, had tens of thousand virus samples. The WHO director says investigate the lab leak theory. 18 right. scientists, including from MIT, Caltech, Stanford, Harvard, Yale, say investigate it. Um, CDC director says it's a possibility. Dr. Fauci says he's open to this. You know, we found footage. You know the doctor at Echo Health Alliance that got money from the NIH and then right. turned around the Wuhan lab's research. He's Dr. Peter Daszak. He's throwing cold water on the lab leak um, theory. Um, he's saying that's not true. He admits in tape we're about to show that, yes, he has been researching viruses inside China for six to seven years, and that he worked with the Wuhan lab to spike viruses to make a man-made lab-generated virus not seen in nature. Uh, uh, Congressman, let's take a listen to this, and I want your reaction on the other side of it. Watch this. We focused on SARS coronavirus emerged from a wildlife market mm -hmm. and was the first pandemic of this century. So it's a big event. Um, so we, we started to trace back from the wildlife market which species carried the virus that came into those markets. We found that it was bats, not mm. civets was the original idea. Right, right. So then we started looking, where did they come from? And we went out to southern China and did surveillance of bats across southern China. And we've now found after, you know, six or seven years of doing this, um, over a hundred mm. new SARS-related coronaviruses, very close to SARS. Okay, so he also said uh, we had the, the, the it was a, another part of that sound that we needed to to show that they yes they did work on creating uh, developing in order to get vaccines a spike protein that they were manipulating the lab, the virus inside the lab to put a spike protein in the virus. This timeline falls squarely under the Obama administration. Your reaction to the sound? Well, I, I would say this, that we also know that the People's Liberation Army, the Chinese Communist Party Army, also operates and has a biological warfare type of capabilities that they're operating out of that lab. 
So you couple that with what this gentleman said, and if you just look at our report, there's overwhelming circumstantial evidence. And then you also have to take into, a, in, into account what I said earlier, which was, why would we be following the Chinese Communist Party's talking points? They're the only ones who seem to say that this you know, came from some dude that might have ate a bat. And I'm you know, being a little bit facetious there, but that's essentially what they, what they have said. And yet, here we are over a year later with zero evidence of that. You think they would be, instead of covering everything up and not being truthful, uh, they, would, they would come out and, and really get ahead of this and get us all sorts of information. They've had over a year to do it. They're not doing it. So you put all this together, and I think it becomes pretty clear that you know this was likely some type of, of modified virus to some degree that probably leaked out. You know, Dr. Fauci in a Washington Post op-ed in 2011 said, yes, create a lab-generated virus not seen in nature. He co-authored that op-ed. The two, in 2015, the scientists leading the Wuhan lab wrote an article uh, saying, yeah, the NIH did fund us, and yeah, we created a chimeric hybrid virus not seen in nature inside our lab. And they're also saying out of the Wuhan lab, the scientists are saying, this COVID-19 virus that's infecting people around the world, it doesn't exist in Wuhan. It only exists in subtropical China. So, you know, so here are the key questions. Who, who signed off on this research? Who approved the money flow under the Obama administration? What controls were put in place? And what are taxpayers getting for their money here? Yeah, and if you, if you go back, look, where were, we, where were we 10 days ago? Republicans on the House Intelligence Committee came out and said, told Biden, we have 25 questions for you. We made that public. Actually, Fox News broke that, broke it uh, with your own Maria Bartiromo on her Sunday show. Uh, and then a few days later, we issue a report. And now all of a sudden, you have all the fake news out there and everybody now saying, oh, this might have been possible. Let me take you back a year ago when Senator Cotton was raising these concerns. You had President Trump, Secretary Pompeo, Director Ratcliffe, I think everybody was looking at the intelligence and saying, wait a second, there seems to be something missing here. Uh, how about just applying a little common sense? And it just looks like, you know, you, you raise this issue with Fauci not being totally clear in the Senate with where this $100 million that went to EcoHealth, I know you're going to cover it later in the show, probably in more depth, but there's also $100 million of U.S. taxpayer money that went somewhere. And so the idea that, that, that we would even be working on these types of viruses doing this kind of work, I understand there could be some health benefits, but the, the, what's clear here is, is when you have the Chinese Communist Party that's trying to take over the world, we ought to be cutting off everything with China at this point. And that's really what's, what's kind of strange here is, is why would Biden go in and shut down this operation in the State Department that, that he did? Why would it take this long? Why would it have to be House Republicans who are in the minority that we would have to come out and put pressure to ultimately, here we are 10 days later, they're finally doing what they should have done. They should have continued the Trump administration's work instead of halting it at the beginning of this administration. All right. Congressman Devin Nunes, thanks for joining us. Great stuff there. It's good to see you. Come back soon.